Hey, I'm gonna come across somewhat professional, but yeah, I know how you folks is gonna think about how I say Bobby's situation. You gonna think it's disrespectful. And I can tell you if Bobby Smurda and his family watch this video, they gonna rock with the video. Now, Bobby Smurda, there's a lot going on in your name since you released the snippet. And y'all probably think, thinking like what I'm talking about. Well, Bobby released the song and a lot of people are calling it trash. Some folks are saying this and that. I'm going to make y'all hear a little bit of it. Here we go. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie, it sounds good, you know what I mean? But I think I know what the fans really trying to say. Like, number one, he did sound like Quavo in it, you know what I mean? But who gives a damn if he sound like Quavo or not? Was it lit? To me, it sound fire, you know what I mean? That song sound like one of them songs that if you give it a month, all y'all gonna be bopping to it and it's gonna go everywhere and it probably even go on the Grammys. Maybe not win it, but get nominated just for the wave it's about to get. Cause it's Bobby. I gotta salute him on that. But here come the truth part. This ain't it cause this ain't you, Bobby. Niggas are, oh, bless one, you gotta fall back. You gotta let this nigga elevate and shit. I am letting the king elevate. I ain't hating on Bobby and none of that. This what the people are saying. This what the streets are saying. I can tell a lot of you niggas are yes men. And Bobby shouldn't have you type of folks around him, bro. A lot of you niggas are yes, man, bro. Like, here's the truth. Is it a good banger and all that? Yes. Folks in them want to hear about your struggles and plight that you've been through, bro. I mean, my nigga, it's been seven years. Seven years. I can't walk them all in them shoes you walk. You know what I mean? You literally walk the yard. No PC, no none of that. You been in it, my nigga. Salute to you, bro. It's not for that. It's like your music, bro. We don't want to see you turn into what this rap game already is. That's all I'm saying. Like, the real ones who rock with your music, we don't want to see you become these next simp Quavos and all that. And I know Quavo is your mans. I don't know if the man been around you too much or y'all been rocking with each other too much, bro. I just feel like the energy shifted. Maybe for the right place. Who am I to speak on it? But the music niggas thought they were going to hear, bro. It's like, I, cause I heard Act talking about he want to see the dance with it all that. I'm not saying all that corny shit. You know what I mean? You don't have to dance no more for me, bro. You already solidified yourself. You don't have to do none of that sucky ish no more. You don't got to dance. You don't. Have, I, I ain't like academics, bro. I ain't going. Like I even credit that new snippet we heard. Song song sound like it's about to be fire, my nigga. But where I can agree and disagree at the same time with what people are saying. I disagree as far as they saying the song is trash. It's clearly fire. But where I can agree with the Kim folks in them, bro, I don't want to hear about another we buying Louis bags and we shopping at this. Like, my nigga, you been down and bad for seven years. I don't care what none of these folks is saying, bro. The worst time of your life. You went through some real trials and tribulations that you can never get back. And nobody's speaking about that. Everybody welcomed you on home. Like, everything is forgotten about. Everything is peaches and cream right now. When it ain't, bro. You got some torment inside that because the culture we got and because who we are as us, bro. Me and you, melanated people, bro, that you can never really share and that you want to share. You know what I mean? Things that, that you probably cried inside or even outside so much that... These niggas will never understand, bro. Even people who've been locked up won't understand because everybody got to walk on their own path and journey through life, my nigga. So I only can look at the pain you've been through and say, I, I don't know how you feel. None of us do. All these yes men around you can act like they do, but nobody do, bro. All these niggas who've been locked up before can act like they do, but nobody does, bro. And here come, and there come lies the truth, bro. Well, we wanted to hear that in the music, my nigga. Then you could have give us all that. Maybe you doing it for me. I'm a businessman. Maybe you doing that commercially. You need a commercial hit. It is what it is, man. Salute to you. But I can't fake the funk, my nigga. I wanted, I wanted all that passion, bro. Seven years of deprived of who you are. Thrown in that man's doghouse. And being treated like less than anything equal, bro. You was a dog in there, bro. And in and, and the ranks... And the janky ways they did the arrest you, putting the dog chains on you niggas out that studio, walking all you and your homies in that bus, making a public display of you niggas. Like you a ain't shit nigga, bro. That's what they did to you, bro. I need that 
energy putting you in situations so you have to take extra years for your mans. But like, what type of foul shit is that? They did rowdy foul too. Jaja, Rasha, all, all these people names you drop. I feel like everybody got to be accountable for their actions. But them, them NYPD folks did y'all foul, bro. Ain't no way y'all should have been treated like hound dogs. So where is the aggression? Where is the pain in that? I don't want to hear about the spendings, the Fendies, the, the Louis, the Holes, the Tatianas. None of that, gangster. Like, niggas, like, I, I feel like I need to, in fact, hold on, bro. I'm about to take off my chain, bro. I need to go to a place in my life because I slept in shelters before, gang. I, I, I slept in them streets before, bro. And I had a family and mom and dad that loved me. I ain't had to. But times got hard and that pride is a bitch. You don't want to go back. Hold on, I, I'm, I'm going to take this chain off me. For the, for the rest of this video, bro. Like, I, I I want you to feel what I'm talking about, bro. Remember them hard times, bro? Them sandwiches, bro. We didn't have no meat, but the sauce from the meat bread, from the meats, was still in the pan. Remember that? You got all that white bread, the Wonder Breads at that, bro, with the dots on them, bro. Shout out to Tay Rock. You got the Wonder Breads. You got the meat sauce still in there, but no meat. But you still made a meal. You took the bread, you put it on the sauce, and you and your brothers ate that bread and shared it. And it tastes like the best chicken you ever had. At least we imagined we was eating chicken. Like, go back to that place, bro, that nitty-gritty, bro. Go back to that world, bro, who we are, bro. All this extra finessing and all that, bro. You see where that got the Migos was the biggest group in the world. Lil Baby done passed them boys. And Lil Baby passed them with one formula. Keep that street level to it. You don't got to be out here doing the street shit, killing a nigga, pop. Nah, I ain't talking about none of that sucker shit. You go watch DJ Ack and all of them for that type of video. I'm merely talking about what you've been through, bruh. What made hip-hop hip-hop was the story we told, bruh. Trials and tribulations, facts, all that money flossing is, bruh. Niggas don't care about none of that, bro. Niggas don't care about none of that flossing shit, bro. Because it does nothing for nobody. It brings pain and suffering to watch the artist you look up to. And all he got to show you is what he's glowing. What, what, what he's shot. Like, bro, bro, and I'm not saying I grew up watching you, but the masses did, bro. Let these youngsters know the, what you go through, bro. So they don't never do what Bobby did. Because now you're going to have these folks out here thinking, it don't matter if I do seven years. Look at the love I get like Bobby get it. Look at all that. I'm going to get me some love. But the truth is, while you was out there locked up doing seven years down bad, folks in them didn't give a fuck about you. Maybe big homie in them. Maybe some of them did. But let's keep it a stack, bruh. Them late night calls and you snuck the phone through. I ain't going to explain how you snuck the phone, but you tried to get that car and Shorty in it. But Shorty out partying with Tyrone in them, bruh. And she getting Donkey Kong fucked by Tyrone and them. And you call, and then the same homie you call after her ain't picking up. He probably the nigga that was fucking your chick. Bro, this is true story. I want to hear about that, bro. I want to hear about Aki and them, bro, what they got going on. Because you been hanging with Quavo and them. My nigga, money wasn't like that. Money was all right, but money wasn't like that and just drowning in you like that. Let's keep, let's tell the story, bro. Share that struggle so you can save lives out here, gangster. All I'm saying, bro, I ain't got no heated ways with you. I ain't angry with you. I'm just saying, Bobby, whoever is giving you these advices, bro, they're giving you the wrong advice. And salute to them niggas. I ain't even mad at them, too, because y'all know who Bobby is, and y'all got more love for Bobby than me, and that's facts. I'll say that nine times out of ten, y'all got more love for Bobby Schmurder than me. But this, what I'm talking about right now, ain't just about Bobby. Like he said in New Jack City, it's bigger than Nino Brown. It's bigger than Bobby Schmurder. It's bigger, bruh. The impressionable minds that are watching Bobby, bruh. You don't think the wave of them you watching Bobby, bro? They staring at this nigga like, damn, I want to, this nigga is in real life. I want to be this nigga. And now you got folks and them looking at these snippets and I, the song is fire. But I don't, bro, we got enough rappers talking about what you giving to us, bro. We got enough of that, bro, and it's saturated. It's so goddamn saturated. Watered down so much, you can't even make that thing turn into the elixir of the fixer, bro. The elixir of the fixer, gangsta. I want to hear about them struggle nights. Them cold nights, them cold sweats, because you got PTSD from the bullshit of going through that. That's what we want to hear, bro. And you probably do got that reserve in there, bro. But all that time you've been down bad, I don't want to believe that's what you was riding in seven years being incarcerated, my nigga. I don't want to think in my head for once when you was down bad for seven years, you was having your pin game and you riding about some Louis bags and some diamonds and how much hoes you got. 
Because, my nigga, that's a travesty if this is all we going to get. Now, they probably going to get you Grammys and all that. But from one nigga to another nigga that want to hear the story, it's sad if that's all we going to get. I personally think that's what we ain't. Let me see you come through for the real ones who rock with you, Bobby. Let me see you come through for the ones who don't want to hear about this all day, bruh. We don't want to hear about the finer things in life all day, bruh. This is solid gold, by the way. We don't want to hear about it all day. We want to hear the real things, bro, and what you bring to light. So if you could bring that to light, bro, give us that piff, bro. Let me put the glasses on and give you more of an energy, an energy of life that you could give us, bro. Bobby Smurdy, where is that, bro? Where is that heart at, bro? The energy that's needed to be given, bro. At the end of the day, bro, I can't tell another grown man what to do. I can't walk a mile in your shoe for you. So maybe you know what the game plan is, but the people is talking, bro, and the people is speaking loud and clear, my nigga.